Today there is times when when I go country and I've got my children, I've got my grandchildren, and I'll say to them, let's go get some wild honey, bush honey, goko. And they'll go, what's goko? It's bush honey, it's our honey. But we're going to be doing a lot of walking. It's going to be very hot. And off we go. It's a day job. That is a day job because individual trees in your country has to be assessed if there's little tiny bees in and out of the trees. And when you find honey and you chop the tree down and you cut open and see the, the natural honey there and you forget about the hot sand, the hot the sweat, the, because you start hoeing into the honey. It, it, you, you're kind of in your own, own world and enjoying something from the environment. There's nothing like enjoying something straight from your country onto the bush fire and eating it fresh. All of the hard work just disappears. Knowing that there's a space to do what you need to do to survive in this country, it's pretty special. Arts and country and environment are all one. You, you can't separate those three things from each other. Art talks about heritage. Country in Australia is divided by thousands of indigenous people owning country from Western Australia right across to Northern Queensland. Every clan that existed in this country had their own country, had their own environmental uh, stories. And why are these three elements are so important to protect today? It's an identification, it's you knowing who you are, where you've come from, where your ancestors are from. Without those ID, you are nobody. You don't exist. <laughs>